Propylene is an important feedstock used in the production of polymers such as polypropylene and oxygenates such as uh, acetone and propylene oxide. There is uh, expected to be an increasing demand for propylene rising to about 130 million metric tons by um, 2023. In the uh, petrochemical industries, propylene is uh, recovered from um, the products from a fluid catalytic cracking unit. It could also be recovered from uh, the products from a propane dehydrogenation reactor. The focus of this presentation is the recovery of propylene from a propane dehydrogenation reactor that in um, general would consist of uh, byproducts, methane, ethylene, ethane, propane and propylene. The uh, typical compositions of uh, the mixtures exiting the uh, propane dehydrogenation reactor consists of um, one to three percent methane, half a percent to six percent of ethane, 0 0.2 to five percent ethylene, 40 to 45 percent propane, and 42 to 50 percent propylene. The uh, objective of this presentation is to consider a separation scheme in which propylene is selectively adsorbed from the five component mixture in a fixed bed adsorber packed with a metal organic framework. For further background, Refer to this uh, publication in um, ACS Central Science that is uh, available online. A variety of MOFs are available for separation of propene propane mixtures. Um, I show here the breakthrough curves for three different MOFs. The red symbols are the breakthrough curves obtained with iron MOF 74, in which the propene or propylene is uh, selectively adsorbed by the unsaturated exposed iron atoms at the vertices of the hexagonal frameworks of M of 74. Alternatively, we could uh, use the uh, size exclusion principle to exclude propane from the pores using, say, the trapdoor mechanism as uh, evidence for cost 7 or size exclusion using cobalt gallate. The differences in the performance of these two classes of MOFs is the following. For MMOF 74, we have uh, high uptakes of both propylene and propane, whereas uh, for these two MOFs in which uh, the principle of size exclusion is utilized, propane is virtually excluded from the pores, but the uptake of propylene is significantly lower by about a factor 5 to 10 as compared to iron mob 74. What we aim in this uh, presentation is to consider a different type of MOF 
that has a very high uptake of propylene but does not have the disadvantage of strong diffusional limitations leading to low uptakes as evidence for cast 7 and cobalt gallate. For background on alkene-alkene separations, you may view my YouTube presentation on my YouTube channel. This paper published in ACS Central Science in 2022, who and co-workers report the synthesis of a zinc morph that is ultra-microporous with a one-dimensional rigid pore structures and the uh, pore aperture is 4.27 angstrom to four and 4.6 angstrom in this direction. These one-dimensional channels allow uh, a uh, commensurate absorption of propylene within the 1D channels. The propane molecules are slightly larger in size and uh, their absorption is not commensurate with the, uh, with the uh, channel dimensions uh, shown here. Consequently, the uptake of propylene with respect to propane is significantly higher and this is advantageous for the separation of uh, the uh, mixtures emanating from the propane dehydrogenation reactor. Let's consider the separation of a five component uh, feed mixture exiting the uh, propane dehydrogenation reactor. The uh, separation is carried out in a fixed bed absorber packed with uh, zinc morph uh, that has a 1D channels with the uh, dimensions as uh, shown in the previous slide. The feed mixture Entering the fixed bed absorber contains 3% uh, uh, methane, 6% uh, ethane, 5% uh, ethylene, 44% propane, and 42% uh, propylene. The first component to break through is uh, methane, and the last component to break through is the desired product propylene. What is also remarkable is that the uh, the experimental data on transient breakthroughs that are shown here can be uh, matched nearly quantitatively using uh, transient breakthrough simulations with the methodology as described in my presentation on my YouTube channel. I uh, sh now show you the animations of the transient breakthroughs The blue line is for propane, the red line is for propylene, the yellow lines show the breakthroughs for methane and we note that uh, ethane and ethylene traverse the column at nearly the same uh, velocity. The first component to break through is methane, shown in yellow. 
This is followed by uh, ethane ethylene, which are nearly bun bunched together. And after ethane and ethylene breakthrough, we have propane breaking through, blue line. And finally, propylene breaks through the column. The uh, propylene can be recovered in the desorption cycle, and uh, the recovery is uh, achieved with the desired product purity as demonstrated in this uh, paper from uh, 2022.